coming up on this episode of The Brain Drain Show. So far on your podcast, you've had like the royalty and legends of the UK skate scene. Five years of my life, I was pro. It was a little flex because you got a little bit of muscle. Why do you back. ask everyone to give a fucking give little a little flex. flex? There we go. That's what we want to see. I fell on my head. My hands just went tiny into the distance, holding a tiny little like steering wheel. And I was like, no, I can't do this. They bastardized my life basically, and they dubbed me with an Australian accent. That's the weirdest one I've seen. Budget for each episode was about sixty k. How do we get onto this? I'm never gonna work on kids TV again after this, am I? Yeah and then murdered somebody, now he's in prison. What? And bang to the floor, like, his train of thought was, oh, my nephew likes this show. What if I can fuck that guy if he likes <laughs> this show? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night, whenever you're watching this. My name is Ford Brookfield, and joined to my left is my trusty host. Hello. It's Toby Batchelor. Toby Hello. recently got a new vacuum cleaner. Yeah. Why don't you tell us about your week using the vacuum cleaner? Well, one thing I keep I, out the 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 naughty stuff you've done with a vacuum cleaner and just go into the actual cleaning. I don't think of it. But so, uh, one thing I did notice, the one I got Ninja, uh, sorry Shark, is through. Ninja. He's got Ninja. <laughs> well, on well, the, well, well, Ninja on the well, 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 because we did. We, I don't know if you saw, but we did a giveaway of a Ninja air fryer. A few it's episodes back. The foodie 7000 or something. No, the, the, the dual zone. The dual zone Anyway, the box 000. came, the, a shark one, the, the Hoover is a shark branded one, came from Ninja. So I'm like, why Maybe didn't, why didn't we out. hit up Ninja and it would have saved me? We need a Hoover food. as well. We've got so many Hoovers knocking about. Anyway, it's a really well, good none Hoover. None of them are as good as a shark. Shark is your kitchen it's a, it's, it's one. It's an anti-tangle one, so you don't get anything caught in the... Have you got pets? Uh, I've got a dog. Yeah. What I else mean, would you get You really want to go there. with the pet, the pet one from Vax. It's pretty good. Yeah. It's got loads of little bits and bobs you can put on the end, get onto those little nooks and crannies. Mm. Okay, so as you probably <laughs> guessed, joining us again, again, not again. Joining, joining us joining today. Us for the first time to our left. <coughs> Toby's very excited about this one, so I'm going to let you take it away. Toby, who's joining us to our left? We've, we're very lucky today. We've got uh, Ricky Martin. Not right? the singer. Not the singer. Do you get... Uh, not the singer. No, what not. do you think? Yeah. <laughs> so to our... A lot of DMs. <laughs> Are you the Ricky Martin? So who have we yeah. got to our left? This is Ricky Martin, a a.k.a. the Art Ninja. Round from... of applause, please, in the studio. <laughs> Round of applause in three people. <laughs> Shh, don't <laughs> no. ruin the illusion. It's filmed in front of a live audience. Just listen over there being quiet. Listen to the laughter. <laughs> You're going to put that in after? Um, yeah, we're going to edit that yeah. in after. Um, so, Ricky Art Ninja. Can I, can I, can I say, by the way, like so far on your podcast, you've had like like the royalty and legends of the UK skate scene. Don't put yourself down. And you've obviously run out already. Don't, oh, we've not. No, no, it's far from it, actually. Although, if, you, if technically, for five years of my life, I was pro. Do you want to go into that? Well, because you I got paid to skateboard and I had a skateboard that was made for me to use. Well... Does okay, that not count? Well, that is need, technically a pro, right? We need to go into that a bit well, more then. W what we first need to um, establish talk, establish is you're a skateboarder, first and foremost. That's true, yeah. You know, like... A bloody good skateboarder too. When, I'd say average to... to no, you've to got, you got a I've good... Seen, you skate in vests and you do nose blunt slides. We've that's seen that. pretty powerful... The, that's true things, yeah. And you look like you should be in the band <laughs> The Idols or something, so that kind of... <laughs> And give us a little flex because you got a little bit of muscle. Why do you back. ask everyone to give a fucking give little Give a little flex. flex. There we go. That's what we want to see. Munson gave a flex. Why do you have to and ask people to give a flex? And now Ricky Art can give a flex because I can't give a it's flex. I'm surname. built like a fucking noodle. Um, so I always find that the skateboarders like, are always built like noodles. Yeah. And I always get like a bit disheartened when I skateboard and see myself skateboard. I look like an off duty bricklayer that's just gone for a rip at the end of the day. And it always it doesn't sit particularly well with me. Maybe you should do a clip it. in a. Some some boots, some builder boots. Maybe you should dress up. Maybe that could be your new thing. Just dress for the job you want. Skateboard builder guy TV show. How long have you been skateboarding? Uh, t probably, how old am I now? How like old 25, are you? 24, 25 years. About as long as Death's been going, I've been skateboarding. Nice. Oh, rad. Nice. Cool. And uh, you didn't tell me earlier whereabouts you're from. Do you have a guess? All oh, right, a comment. In. Right. Um, South End. No, but it is Essex, yeah. Basildon. No. Romford? Do, no, do, do you want me to give you a clue? Yeah, one clue. It had a skate shop in a tiny little shack. I was just about to say, is there any... Harlow. 
Harlow, yeah. Motel 6. Motel the Shack six. Skate Shop. It was originally Big Worms. Big Worms. Now, wasn't it the Shack first of all? Then it was oh, Big Worms. Oh, it was the Shack, then Big Worms, big, then Motel right, 6. Right, yeah. Okay, so you... I say we could have made that interesting by saying, what did we do last time? Guess where someone's from by the pro skater that comes also from that town. Any other pro skateboarders from Harlow? Go. I don't there aren't any. No? Not I know of. Well, who are you thinking? Art Ninja. Oh, oh, I see, yeah. yeah. Not technically, yeah. but kind of technically. Um, so do you know all the Harlow lot? Hemming? Yeah, did, Monk. but I haven't been back there for years. Um, Hemming, yeah. Monk, Dibble, Dibble. Jody, Joe. Who else? Uh, we we went to Skate Peterborough Skate Park one evening. Why to skate? Yeah. Oh, shit, it, wasn't it? Um, and what well, was all, it, it was all right. It was fun for the evening. Me and my friends went along. And I don't remember much of the evening or much of the week before it because when I was there, I fell on my head. And I had like stuff coming out of my ears. And I basically woke up on the floor. Like I was walking down the town in Harlow. Then I was on the floor in Peter's Skate Park with stuff coming out of my ears. And I was like, help me, I'm scared. Because I'd like fallen <laughs> off this thing onto my head. And um, I, we all jumped in the Fiat Uno to drive home. And Dibble was in the passenger seat. And as I started to drive, my hands just went tiny into the distance, holding a tiny little <laughs> like steering wheel. And I was like, no, I can't do this. I cannot, I'm, I'm too out of it. Like... And he had to drive my car all the way home and take me home and then walked home from my house. Oh, he's a nice boy, Dibble. He's a, he's a top lad. He gets a lot of grief, but... See, that's a nice story about him, right? Have you heard the story about Dibble as well, where <clears throat> it was at a house party. I think it was in... I, I was, like, quite a bit younger than these guys. So these were oh, okay. stories that might have, like, disseminated down to me by conversations overheard in the skate shop. He, they went to a house party and he was in. they, they locked him in a shed at some <laughs> girl's house just to calm him down because he was going crazy. And he was like... What, like a dog? Yeah. <laughs> it was a big shed. Okay. And like he was, yeah, he was, was shouting at me. He's like, let me fucking out. They were going nuts. And they found it hilarious. And they were like, okay, okay. We're, and he's still in there we'll today. go and get the key. We'll go and get the key. Went to try and find the key. And then Dibble just burst out of the shed. Like like the Incredible Hulk. Like the, the walls just fell on the floor. And he was like... Wah! It didn't really calm him down, did it? Oh, I fucking loved him. It was the best. Right, okay. So, obviously, you're a skateboarder. That's kind of the, the main link. Uh, one thing which I thought was amazing, when I... So, me and, me and Rex, my son, we were watching Art Ninja, as we do. And I was like, I wonder if... Because, obviously, one of the interests I have in the show is that you do a lot of skate stuff on it, which is really good. And it shows that you're a skateboarder because there's, there's a, a constant kind of... Yeah, it's, it's, it's on his mind, isn't it? On, yeah. On mm. the character's mind quite a lot of the time. Well, you're not Art Ninja. Well, I, I I am, but also, do I seem like the guy that's on there now? No, because I said when I watched it, you had no moustache as well. And I was just this like... This is my disguise. And I was just like, who, who is this guy? Who is this guy? So we were Talk to us about the character. Wait, did you on, make the character? No, 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 no I want to hear this, this first. This is a really good story I want to tell did you? It. Did you make the character first and approach? Or did, or were they no. like, you need to become no, a listen, character? No, listen, let me just get this first. They bastardised my life, basically. Okay. And then I've, and then when you're in front of camera, a camera and we were doing it, the director, the first guy we worked with, Duncan, was like, yeah, hammer it up a bit more, hang it up a bit more, bit more, bit more. And then it just became this completely overacted version. Okay. But... but that's With this tone to... of voice that you speak to everyone, like everything's amazing. And then you sort of, every now that and again. That is the BBC yeah. voice, isn't it? It is, like, yeah. So when that's I, all I wanted to know. When so. I DM'd you from the brain drain thing, and then I saw that you followed the show, I was like, all right, this is good. And then when I asked you to come on the show and you replied, fuck yeah, I thought, yes, this sounds good. Because you wouldn't expect somebody who is known, not entirely, but known for being a CBBS nice presenter, person. to mm. swear which I thought was amazing. Yeah. So I'm, I was I was that stoked sweats. me out even more. Yeah. Like in front of yeah, but that was like, he's like, people. fuck yeah, I'm in. That's amazing. So you're not the weirdest person to have slid into my DMs on Instagram. Like, let's really? face it. Yeah, it's awful. Do tell. Uh, give, <laughs> no names, but give us a weird... Well, I'm hoping that these things can be cut out if they're too bad or if you keep nah, them, it's fine. But it's fine. We'll always send you the, the draft first. Uh, well, there's, there's often parents message you or just quite often hot, like, I feel really bad for girls because guys message me often on it as well. It's like, it, it just put a normal post and they see it as some kind of thirst trap. It's not. just You're just doing a post to put something you're doing or you're yeah. just putting something out. But yeah, there's just a lot of, like one, one particular guy messaged me just going, Hi Ricky, I've been watching Art Ninja with my, with my nephew and he's really enjoying it. And I was wondering if you'd like to get a drink sometime. <laughs> and I thought his train of thought was... Oh, my nephew likes this show. 
wonder if I can fuck that guy. That's basically <laughs> the only way he went into it. How did it go when you met up with him? Did you fuck I him? I did meet up with him. Or did he fuck you? <laughs> Every now and again, I feel the, the urge to sort of try and um, like be a bit of a, an activist to try and shut them down and say, you can't speak to people like this. But sometimes I just show it to my partner. And, and like, meet up with them this? and go for a drink and end up fucking them. Mm. Yeah. No, definitely uh, not. <laughs> um, but yeah, I was really, I was really stoked with that response. Fuck yeah, I thought yeah, we're on site here because he likes to swear. Yeah. I did, mm. I did like freak out about it though yesterday. Why? Because, because as I said, like you've actually got proper like sponsored skateboarders, people that have run skate companies, and then I'm just like, oh, I've just done some TV stuff, and your son likes it. So I thought, yeah, but, but yeah, but, but the, it's, the it's, thing it's, is, is like like Toby said, like we do the yeah. podcast because <laughs> it's Pete. It's because it's people that we, we want to... Yeah. Well, we so wanna... I guess skateboarding is the connecting factor, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's it, yeah. Shapes and forms. But it might even come to a point where we just want to get someone on that's probably got the smallest little bit of skateboarding history. Like, they skated when they were 12, but now they're an amazing artist that we both like. The f yeah. fact of the matter is, it's what, it's what we're doing. Uh, we can do what we want. And we want to talk to and who... I and I really don't care what people think. And um, this is relevant because you're a skateboarder and... You do. There's lots to talk about with you, lots. I do say like if it wasn't for skateboarding, I wouldn't be doing the job that I'm doing, which yeah. sounds strange. But there is. A well, that's what I was saying. It. Like you know, during obviously because you did fi five seasons, five series of Art Ninja, fifty five episodes, I think, according to Wikipedia. That uh, must be. If Producer, can, can we look it up, please? How many Art Ninja was, episodes? Just think how many makes that is. I had to remember. Mm. Just remember what? How many makes I had to remember? Yeah, they're still in there. They don't go away, <laughs> haunt me. The foil owl can just fuck off. Like it's the Let, worst thing I've ever made in my life. Let's go back to the beginning. So you're a skateboarder. You're you're an animator by trade. Am I right? And yeah. you direct as well. Yeah. Okay. So where did that all come about? What did, what came first, skateboarding, animation, creativity? Is it or is it all interlinked into one? Do you think? Well, no. It's, animation probably came first, and drawing because I I would draw and be frustrated that it didn't move. Yeah. And my mum <clears> gave me a post-it notebook and just drew a picture on each one and flicked it, and I was like holy shit like this, yeah. you can do this on stuff and then i used to do it on like powerpoint presentations and i used to try and make because if you make every single this is so boring every single um you can cut this out every single uh like page of it flick at 0 0.08 of a second you can just change each of the little boxes and things you got in each one and you create an animation in powerpoint so i used to yeah. do that all the time and then yeah that was really boring it was fucking boring yeah cut out. and then um and then, like, I actually did think it was interesting. I actually did think it was. A friend of mine at school started skateboarding and invited me out. I went to skateboard, so I had one of those, like, uh, all sports air walk complete decks with yeah. just the plastic wheels. And I skated nice. it until it was square and bald of grip tape. Yeah. Um, and then my parents got me, very lucky, got me, like, a, a Hi8 camera to make yeah. films and, mm. and do stuff on. And I'd film skateboarding on it. And that sort of led up into working in the media because that's the skills that I wanted to have and that's the things I enjoy doing. I still make little skate edits now. Yeah. yeah. Everyone does, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah non-stop. Yeah. So, I mean, it's pretty much <laughs> non what I'm doing. Yeah, it's nothing, nothing else to do apart from make skate videos, in my opinion. Okay. Um, and then, <laughs> so you started, you, you started working in the media. Well, I'm interested to know how you go from fucking about with a high eight camera doing your own shit to get in your own TV series. So talk me through it. Uh, Come on. Let's go from the... I want to know for, for a couple of reasons. One, I'm I actually interested to know your... your I want to know. But we, 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 we want our own show. Oh, okay then. So right, we, here's, yeah, yeah, here's we, a crash we course. want this episode to lead into you helping us get a show or if you do another one that we're background act can we uh, have, can we get cameos if you do anything else and if you do anything zombie related i know tom oh, uh, to he wants to be a zombie extra yeah. but okay. you won't put contact lenses no, in. no i can't do that you have to do that in after post, post. Yeah. yeah um okay still doable i'm actually i'm i've been trying to make my own grindhouse film for ages but yeah. i love grindhouse yeah. cinema um, Robert Rodriguez grindhouse cinema films are well good but i'm i'm doing mine with like little models because i can't afford big sets so little mm. models superimpose people into them yeah. and all the special effects are going to be like practical effects because it's just more fun. Can we get involved in when that, When I please? actually get around to doing it, yeah. Definitely. Okay, great. So that's... We're, we're in. Yeah. We got it. That's legally, a certain, legally binding contract. That's a certain <coughs> handshake right there. So um, it's a bit of a, That was a bit of a reach. Sorry about that. That's all right. Um, so how did, uh, how did it go from high eight to the big screen? Big screen. Mm, uh, 
Sorry, don't put it down. It's on fucking iPlayer. Yeah, it's no, weird, no, though, isn't it? Like, no, I've never no but don't play, like play trumpets or anything. You so. blow, you're on the wrong fucking platform. For he's that. tried to blow his own trumpet numerous times. So. All right, so he I something gets in the way. So I used to make little films with my mate. We used to put a, me and my friend Tom Cousins used to film on our own cameras at home little films and pass it towards each other at school and do another one each day. I've got that video at home and it will never see the light of day. That's a shame. <laughs> I'm, I'm protecting it um, and. Then sort of went to college, did a did a uh, art foundation, and then I had a chance to go to university. And I was like, well, I want to do media and animation because it's just seems like more fun. You know, they say like if you do something you love, you never work a day in your life. Where really you end up resenting the thing you loved. Yeah, because hundred percent work, isn't it? Yeah. And then yeah, I went to university in Bristol, studied animation, and my plan was to finish my university degree with a film, send it like out to festivals and then get uh, picked up by an agent and then become a director at Arben. That was my plan. Right? Mm -hmm. But I finished my film. It did get picked up by British Council. It went round the world, won one award, which was the audience award. That was in like Sydney. And that just meant that people stood up and clapped at the end. So didn't really get what I wanted. And then yeah, I had to go in. Ricky, it's an award. You yeah. won an it's award. It's not an award. It's, it's like so, participation. No, no, but that's so a... you won, you're an award winning director. I yeah, I technically. You, got, you just got, you got to learn how to... Uh, you know, sell stuff. It wasn't that good, but you know, it's good. It, it must have been. won an award. <clears throat> yeah, it won, yeah, it won like it won That's twelve awards. In. One of them was an Oscar. That's really? good. Oh, yeah. well done. Just yeah. an Oscar. Just, yeah, it's not. Uh, yeah, not a Razzie. Not, you're right. Fuck. And then, uh, and then from that, nothing happened. So I had to go and work in a bar, and I started just working at media companies. Then went to Ardman, working in the machine room, which is where you basically just put tapes out to festivals. Mm. Um, and I used to make little films in the machine room of bits of clay or whatever. You remember Morph? I used to yeah, make stuff yeah, like yeah. that, just little action animations in front of it while I was waiting for the tapes to play out because I had nothing else to do. And mm. if you've got ADD and idle hands, you have to do something. Yeah. And then um, the guy in broadcast, Miles Below, wonderful fella, grabbed me and took me to broadcast and was like, you, we, you're in, ineffective where you are and you're creative, so come work with us. Mm -hmm. Then they were making this thing called Wallace and Gromit's World of Invention, which is where they were like anchors, like like you yeah. guys, if you will, and you're yeah. and you're no, like we're send wankers. out. Is it? Yeah, cool. Yeah. And then you send out to <laughs> send out to an outside VT of live action, but then they had a website and they wanted some make and do's for kids. This is a, this is getting like really. I mean, you did ask. Yeah, no, yeah. I'm interested. No, go down. for this it. Is, we want to know. And then. Right, so I want, they wanted me to test out these make-and-do kits, but for a laugh, I made a pretend make-and-do show for the people in digital, because they're my mates. So I put these videos together, showed them to them, and they showed them to the BBC. They ended up not just on the website, but then we also ended up being asked to make a pilot of a science show, which was called Ricky's Radical Reinventions. Fucking, that's a good name. That is it? good. It's a bit of a tongue twister, isn't it? One episode. Right. Yeah, <laughs> a pilot, a TX pilot, nothing else. I messaged the. Uh, Have you still got it? It's it's on it's on the internet somewhere. Oh, we'll probably find, find it. it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, morphs in it as well. Right. Uh, and then the oh plasticine God. morph. Or Plas yeah, yeah, the, yeah, not, yeah, not morph. the filmer morph. Yeah, yeah. And there was somebody like an X Factor finalist was also in it, singing a song through some speakers that some kids made. Kitty Brucknell. She's she's the one that did some weird stuff in the jacuzzi and one of the things, and so maybe wasn't right for it. But she was she was the one that said yeah, she'd be on the show. Some so she was in it. Weird George? stuff in the jacuzzi. Yeah, there was some. Um, I can't remember what it is. I haven't searched for it. Controversy. Controversy. Right, thank okay. you. Yeah. We'll search for it. We'll, we'll find it. Producer. Then um, I messaged the people from CBBC afterwards saying, "Yeah, sorry, it didn't work out with the pilot. I'm more of an artist, creative person." Is that a steam train? Can you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> Why the fuck have we got a steam train? <laughs> No, that's, that's not. No, I think that's you know the the snack van thing. Oh right. And, you okay. know they play a song normally. It's probably a song. like an ice cream van, but for yeah. adults. Yeah. Yeah. With snacks. Ice cream vans can be for adults too. Good yeah, point. no, but the, I think the music's meant to attract children. We have um, a good ice cream van that comes down there. Gary Soft Whip. Gary Soft Whip. Yeah. Sounds like a porn name, doesn't it? Mm. Yeah. Sorry. It's anyway, yeah. So you 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 spoke to CBBS. Yeah, I said I wanted to do creative stuff, and they said there's this company that are trying to make an art show. Why don't you go and work with them and pitch something? Mm -hmm. I turned up there, and it was just two of them left like, in a big office. They hadn't had anything for a while. Why? Well, I, I don't think they didn't look like they were, they were doing that well. So we developed this show with them. Well, I developed the show with them, which was basically where they went. What happens in your life? And then they just made that into a show. So everyone that's in Art Ninja is my friend. Or my actual dad, because my dad's in it. That's one of my questions, yeah. <clears throat> it, yeah is, is it actually your dad? Mm. He's um, he's uh, either... The voice on the telephone, is that actually your mum? No, that's right, the producer. Okay. 
they, they did ask my mum, but they couldn't get her down. They could didn't want to pay for her to come down to a studio to get her to record the stuff. Cheeky bastard. They could have done it over the phone, though. It would save them putting that um, phone effect on it. And your mum wasn't going to do it for free to help her son out? Uh, I think not. I think right. she should get bucks for doing that. Yeah, no okay. one does anything for free, Toby. This so is it is media. actually your dad? Yeah. Right, okay. That's cool. He takes forever to do a take. Yeah, I bet. That's He'll cool. like walk into, like sit there reading all his lines. He'll listen to him in the car on the way down. He'll get on set, walk in and just go. <laughs> and we'll be like, hello? And he'll be like, hello? <laughs> <laughs> no, it'd be like to that level. So I, I used to say that I was uh, either one take Martin or five take Martin. Is it right. how many takes takes me to do it? My dad is piss take Martin. Is right. in literally 30 or 40 takes to yeah, the point yeah. where everyone's just pulling their hair out. Right. It's really funny though. That must be good that you've got your dad involved with it though. And I think he enjoys it more than yeah, me. Yeah, it's quite a good thing, <laughs> isn't it? He's on TV. Um, so you managed to get the show going. Did you have to do yeah. a pilot for Art Ninja? Uh, no, we just got a full TX series. They just put you in straight away. Boom, done. Yeah, well, we went down there. Originally, it was going to be called Art Monkey, and it was going to be like a grease monkey thing, like, you know, like a mechanic kind of person. Yeah. Um, that wasn't my idea. And then when we were there pitching it, the commissioner was just like, uh, monkeys, not really that cool, isn't it? Kids like ninjas. Can we call it Art Ninja? And we all just went, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. We just had to rejig it so that there was a yeah. ninja element to it. Yeah. And uh, are you a ninja? I do not know jin- ninjutsu. Did you do any kind of martial arts? Uh, taekwondo. Cool. But not so much. Did you anymore. make the intro for Art Ninja? I didn't. Right. Well, that's that's yeah, that's weird, isn't it? Yeah. I did. Uh, yeah. And I, I never really liked the graphic of it. Wasn't that into it? Mm. It's just very like. Elastic, isn't it? Like the the ninja Lots, itself. Uh, like it's, <laughs> I think they. Well, I can see the way they've animated it. There's obviously wasn't any budget to do that bit, so I reckon that uh, Alan just went and did those bits real quickly. He might yeah. have spent ages on them, and I've just totally shat on his work. But I'm not that keen. Um, so how does it work then? That like per episode, do they give you a budget? And this is your budget to make the episode for the whole series. Yeah, yeah. You get given a budget, and they and then throughout each series. Was it millions? No, no, it wasn't. It's probably about a budget of ten pounds to get toilet paper (laughs) rolls from Audi or something. Oh no! What do you mean to do makes with, or do you mean just for you guys toilet paper? Sorry, I'm lost. What are you talking about? You're saying it's for a budget per episode, but the stuff you make stuff out of is like a cardboard tube. Yeah, so that's like, what, so you, yeah, but you budget. still have like crew yeah, and, like, and, and, and the whole set was an Airbnb. It, so it was a bit of a joke and it just went over everyone. Were the, the crew so doing it? With... It was a crap joke. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know all the money you got from it. That's what I want. That's what he's asking. Oh, because people think I've got TV money. He's actually asking like, how much did you get Bricky, paid from look, all of this? You've got five seasons of a kids TV show. Yeah. On prime time. I've seen. It's still on now. It's probably going to get taken down after this. That's absolute prime <gasps> no. time. I'm going to have to uh, download and save every episode. Um. So you get a budget per episode, and then was it entirely down to you to work out what was happening in each episode? Did you write essentially write it? In series four and five, I wrote episodes. Right. And then in the first few series, I came up with make ideas. Yeah. And Mm -hmm. like the big makes. And every single episode except for series five has an animation VT in it where it's meant to be really ramshackle, really lo-fi, and like accessible animation that kids can try at home. All of those were me and... Rich. Basically. So was that the stuff that shot looks like in your house or someone's house on yeah. a, a DGSLR? Or, or at it looks in like Bristol. Which right. Okay. Like that. Yeah, that's right. Because you, you've done some stuff there. I always thought that maybe that was the stuff that was a pilot that they then cut up and used throughout the season. But obviously not. You've no, it's just, just me and Rich using shit cameras to make them. Um, yeah. And you do a lot of the um, the bigger stuff at campus, don't you? So yeah. The, going well, our big animations and some of the big makes we do at campus because like me and Andre have been friends for years. Mm. Yeah, nice. Um, Campus wanted us to do a a live show, a live brain drain show down there, and we we spoke about the idea of who contacted when, you when it, it happens. Andre or Tim, both, both. What well, together? I spoke, I spoke to Tim. separate separate I was in lines the group of chat with them. Have you been there? Is it good? What the pub or the skate park? Both. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Because <laughs> um, we were saying if we actually do it, the best thing would be to get. As many guests as we, that we we'd had already on. had on. Yeah. To have like a panel. Like yeah, a panel and we just talk it, about yeah. it and, you know, it, it doesn't even need to be a show. It can just be like, how long does it take to get an episode started? Well, Ford says, are we ready to jump in for 10 minutes? And then... You can run sweepstakes on the outside. That's what I mean. It's just... It's a, it's a good idea. We need to see, we need to see what happens. Um, 
More questions about Art Ninja. Do you, want, do you want the rest of the money? The answers? Yeah, yeah. How much yeah. money did you get the paid? Bu- the budget for each episode was about 60K. Oh, okay. It's not, not as much as the... To begin with, it's more, but then as you move on, they take a little bit away each time because they think, well, you're already set up. You don't need the money to make the graphics. You've already got those. You don't need the money for any yeah. of the, the set dressing because you've already got those. So they cut it down each time until you're really squeezed. By Can you not five. approach it like how the council do where they have a budget and if they don't use that budget, next year's budget is... Less. No, if you, you if you don't yeah if you don't use the budget you get less. That's that's it. okay. So did you try and figure out ways to just maximize that budget to be like no we still need sixty k per episode? <clears throat> no, I, well I didn't produce it, so I know that Dot Dot would have been trying to get as much money as I can out of it because otherwise it's not so a business model, is it? Dot Dot's the production company that yeah that did it for they you. own Art Ninja. Right. Okay. I have no ownership over it, even though I did help devise it. So there could be a new series with a new host that's the Art. Ninja. No, because in the contract says that I. I you. have first refusal on doing them or not. But okay. then they're not going to make any more because it's the victim of its own success because you can have one series per year that you're through CBBC, 12 to um, 8 to 12, or you can have one episode, because it's 55, every weekend for a whole year. Okay. Why is it so, like... Because they don't need any more. Uh, I guess so. It's done. Because um, any kid that comes into it can watch that series fresh and they're just it's just constant audience rolling through. Couldn't yeah, you... Okay. Oh, I guess because if they own the Art Ninja name, I was going to say, couldn't you do your own thing as a YouTube channel? I'd, thing? I'd have to pay them for it. And also, I'd have to do all the work. That would be rubbish. No, yeah. there's, some, there's a way around this. I was thinking about it. You come out with a new one, just uh, just um, change the animation slightly. Make it green. And, and call it Fart Ninja. Oh, and it's just, yeah, and it's just, flatulence. It's just toilet humor the whole way through. I mean, that's X-rated. kind of Art Ninja as well. Yeah, yeah, it was kind of... Um, there, there was a scene where you had a tarantula on your pillow. Mm. Was that really there? Yeah. Okay. That doesn't sound. I've, or I've, look I've got fun. the clip on my phone of um, after it cuts. What happens? Can we? Can we use to... that in the edit? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Yeah. So I literally lay in there, and the handler puts it here, and I have to have it like that, and it it crawls towards my face, fuck and the director's that. going, "Okay, wake up," and I go like that, and it's like here, <sighs> and then he goes, "Look, that. shocked," and I go like that, and then it runs down to the back of the thing like that, and then you just hear him going, "Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it." <laughs> no, fuck that. Yeah, not having anything to do. No. She's actually right. really nice, that spider. Yeah, yeah? no, yeah. no, no. Fine, fuck I'll take all. your word for it. Yeah, should have killed them all. Yeah, no, not kill it. Just no, yeah, kill the fuck out of all of them. Um, the the set that you film most of the episodes on is like a, a flat. Yeah, it's an Airbnb in, in Bristol. So down you, by, what's it called? Not Paintworks. Is it Paintworks? Why have I forgotten? It's by Bocker Bar. Right, so you you just booked that out when you needed to do episodes and... Yeah, set it we book it out for a few months. Nice. So hot in there. Yeah. It's horrible. So where's the bedroom that on the show is actually upstairs there? Yeah. Oh, it's good. It's a, a glimpse behind the, uh, you, you can probably, the magicians. You can probably get it on Airbnb and just right. go and stay in it for a night. We should do that. You'd oh, love that. That'd be amazing. Can we do that? Can we... Yeah, let's do it. Come on, Abby. Can we do it? Yeah. Producer, can you book it now, please? I'm looking for it. Really okay, no, we'll book we... that. We'll have a weekend in Bristol. And we'll go to Canada. Oh, my God. This I is... think it's 4.1 paintwork apartments. And then we'll go to this campus. Is, we'll do our live show. We'll do our live show. And then see we can fuss about. Live show at campus. We'll stay in, in can... Art Ninja's apartment. Then you have to go to the Dina. Yeah. 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 Then we can you go. Can, have you ever skated you... the Dina? Yeah. Yeah, not for a long time. You can do a live Art Ninja show at the Dina. We'll get it (laughs) shut down just for you. Have you still got the belt, the Art Ninja belt? Uh, Probably. I bet you have. I had a little look around for like Art Ninja memorabilia around the house recently. Don't really have that much. I feel like I've It's almost like you you, you don't want to be associated with Art Ninja. (laughs) It is like, oh, when you get involved in stuff and people go, can you come and like judge this art competition or do this? And I'm like, if I was a kid, that would really like make me excited. If Neil Buchanan (laughs) or Tony Hart, somebody like that, Mm. God rest his soul, was going to like was going to judge a competition that I was going to be in, I'd be so excited to enter it. Mm. But as a person, me like judging an art competition and having to then be Art Ninja rather than myself, I, I find it a bit weird now. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Do you ever like slip back into character? Uh, I do the odd video for like my friend's kids or people that ask me. You did one for Pauli's daughter, Cheeseface, didn't you? I did, yeah. yeah. Have, have, you got a ca- have you got the Cameo app where you can get a Cameo? For yeah. Oh, have you actually got one? Yeah. Oh. We need, can you can you do us a special cameo? Well, if you in, in character, if you do it, if you do it on cameo, you'd have to pay me. You just ask me to do it normally. And can I'll we? Just do one. Can you do uh, as Art Ninja? Yeah. Fuck can yes. you do one at that camera and go? 
My name's Ricky Art Ninja, and this is the Brain Drain he's Show. Not wearing, he's not wearing the shirt. I've got my glasses on, and that really helps me get into character yeah. and stuff. Yeah, it's all right. Well, I'll <laughs> green screen it on. Can you send us yeah. one later, Dave? Just yeah, of course. This is. I don't know. So well, say you say something funny and swear at the end of it or something. Some people have asked me to do strange stuff. Like one has asked me to do. What's the strangest? The strangest one was. Well, it's not that strange. Someone said, "Oh, can you uh, say happy birthday to our friend? She loves Ricky Martin." And I'm like, "You do know that I'm not that Ricky Martin." And they're like, "Yeah, but this is funny, isn't it?" So mm. I just had to just do that, and I just did a dance, live and leave a loca for them. Amazing. I'm surprised you haven't got a cameo. I know. Oh, you might need to off. get one though. Once you get your like primetime show, it would pop off. Mm. So before we go into anything else, do you do you get noticed around the street for Art Ninja you stuff? Used or? to a lot. Now not so much. Maybe because of moustache. Moustache, not wearing my glasses. Yeah. But um, most Have of the you had time, anyone go? Here, you kind of look like someone, and you like don't know who you're on about. Yeah, I've had. I've pretended not to be who I am before. Yeah. But Amazing. that's okay. I mean, I people have heard my voice, like in a bar, and gone, "Are you so and so?" But when they look at me, they don't think it's, it's me Yeah. Anymore. So you can just be like, no, I just sound like him. I get the it all worst the time. Thing, walking down the street and someone goes like that. And I'm like, oh, God, I don't remember who they are. I've obviously met them somewhere. And they start chatting to me. And I'm like, no, I don't know who this person is. And then they realize they don't know who I am either. They just recognize me because their kid watches the show. That's all. You realize there's nothing to talk about to them there. You just yeah, like, they're like, oh, yeah, how's your... And I'm like... Made anything out of... Yeah. Clay... Recently, can you make out with a ping pong ball? Yeah, that kind of thing. Um, make out with a ping pong ball. What's um, That's on the show? You never made it through an episode. You know what I was talking about. If you went do you know, part. right? Yeah. I've been telling him for weeks, Ricky's coming on, do some fucking research. It's been a heavy couple of weeks. I mean, I've, I've I listen to your podcast, you know, yeah, he's a, done his research. Mm. It's been a very heavy couple of weeks. Um, there's been a death in the family. Has there? Yeah, my dog died. Okay, Shit, sorry so that's that, enough to like. And then I've just had a load of... This is making of... me smile. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, really it's, it's not right. funny, but it's like, that occupied my whole last week. And then I've just... <laughs> Did had it? And the... You didn't tell me about it till the other day. No, because... Ray wild... told me about it. It takes a while to progress Yeah, because I don't need to come into work and go, oh, dog's dead. Well, you told Rain. Yeah, because she came in with Casper. Right. And she was like, you're Were right. you offended and that I... he didn't tell you? Well, yeah. Cause and he... I was like, yeah. I mean, he tells me most things. I was like, yeah, my dog passed away. Sorry about that. Little man. pug. You right? I think it fell off a chair and broke its back. Don't know what happened. Sounds a bit. Um... My cat died a few weeks ago. Oh, devastated. It's horrible, isn't it? Yeah. I would rather. It's, 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 it's a member of your family. I would rather anyone mm. in this building die than Shit, I better one take of off the question. Dogs. The question that Rex has written: Do you have any pets? I better take that one off. Yeah, I do. I, well, I did have two two cats. Now we have one. Okay. Now we've only got creepy left. It's okay. horrible when you got two and then one dies and two becomes one like two dogs now one now one's dead the other one just sits there yeah just like looking well they become like very attached Wales to like in the middle of the night now yeah that's really that's sad that's that is really sad mm. sorry about that uh just lighten the subject a bit um your uh lovely life partner what was her name zoe zoe, zoe. does uh zoe ever say to you ricky could you get into character just for one night she hates it all oh, right okay good she what really a hates it. Fucking <laughs> horrible question to Come ask. on, people no, were she asking. She really hates it. She, she, I don't. I think she's only ever watched one episode of Art Ninja, and that was during lockdown. I right. think because you like, forced her. Yeah, well dressed up as Ricky. No, my, I have a housemate wanted to watch like it. Like so watching one. the TV. We're the, the, just going to watch was, a couple of episodes. The, the idea was we were going to watch one a week and do a make during lockdown, but we watched one. We're like, that is that is more than enough. We don't need to watch it at the time. And when it, she doesn't recognize it as me, it's not the same thing. Yeah. I guess, yeah. That's the whole point of the character. Because it's not you, it? it's a character, isn't it? it? Is, yeah. Did we go into discussing the character, how the character was formed? Uh, it was literally just having to ham up myself. There was nothing else to it. The, oh, yeah, the, said, all the catchphrases were brought up by different directors or creatives that were in it. So let's get our ninja on was one from Where Duncan. did Where did I Choose You come from? Because um, I said the episode I watched, it was like, just they the say script. something completely random and you just went, I choose you. And I was like, yeah, it's just bad, it just sloppy came, It just ways. came out of nowhere, and I was like... Because not... you always have, like, one. One goes, oh, can you make... Um, can you make art with an egg? Oh, I can definitely beat that. No, you'd be a pun. Next one, pun, final person. We're going to pick them anyway. It doesn't matter what they got. Yeah. 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 So, and yeah. You, you have uh, sort of celebrities on that sometimes, didn't you? CBBC guys, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. 
they pop in for a bit. And on the rushes of them to go into the screen to make it look like they're actually called, because they do theirs separately rather than actually calling yeah. in like the kids do. Yeah. The bits in between those bits are, between, between, in between their pieces of the camera are so funny because they genuinely are begrudged to do the videos to go into the other show. They're like, why are we doing this? Oh, him. Oh, okay, then they go, so Richard, and they go, Ricky. So Ricky, <laughs> can you make that? It's the, they li- they could, couldn't be less interested in being in it. Who? Which one of them is the biggest ass out of all the CBBs people you've met? And <sighs> Most of them are really lovely. Are they? Come yeah. On, you must have some. Dick and Dom are lovely. Yeah, I've heard generally. that, actually. Um, can also we get they... Dick and Dom on? Do you know them? Yeah, or ask them if you want. Yeah. Oh, hang on a minute. Yes. Didn't they used to do... Oh, I don't know if they did. Do you know Tim and Gendel as well? No. Did some? They used to do Red Bull stuff there, like ex-snowboarders. No. Look but you know up. Dick and Dom? Yeah. Okay. You got their numbers? Yeah. Oh. Can we call them now? <laughs> I don't think you'd answer. Can we get them on a joint I've, face? I've heard, I've heard that they're both really nice... Like, yeah. just up for it. Oh, yeah, can we get Dick and Dom on? Do you even know who we're talking about? Yeah, the Dick fake Ant and Deck. He's like, no, the no, fake Ant and Deck I'm is Sam and Mark. I'm I know who Dick and fucking Dom is. Dick. No, <laughs> these originators. No, no, one's on, no, one, no one I've met have been been like a dick or anything. Like everyone, yeah, no, everyone's mostly nice. What about when you were, uh, I guess it probably would have been through the production company looking after the series, but did you ever have any... Uh, Direct runnings with the uh, the Big British Castle, the BBC, the Director General. There, did you have any? No, not nothing really. at all. So you got no real gossip mm, on that. No. Oh, Can you make I, something I, up? I know the BBC generally don't seem to know what they're doing. Yeah. But a lot of the time. Yeah. There, there's there's people there that are really good and they're trying to steer and keep things going. But every time they get any traction, they just do a restructure and everyone gets a new job name, which is even more convoluted than the last one. It's yeah. mm. it's hard to sort of muddle the way through. They try their best, but. Things are just you know why so they're changing job titles? Money. Yeah, definitely. It's to to hide money or to where expenses are actually going, so they can pocket the profit. Why? That's more of a conspiracy theory than I would have had. <laughs> <laughs> it's the truth. <laughs> it's the truth. Are the people that like the people that are working at CBBC genuinely try and make the best stuff they can. Yeah. As they, you know, budgets and lots of other heads trying to get involved. Um, why did it end? A victim of his own success. There was we had enough for the entire five years that people go through CBBC or one a week for a year. So did did you not think about you know like how um, Taskmaster went from Dave to Channel Four? Did you not think this? Let's yeah, jump, let's take it. Let's somewhere. take it somewhere. Let's jump else. ship. Let's fuck this bitch. Because like ship. the BBC have it for a certain amount of years anyway. Right. And then they have a choice that if they want to put it into repeats, I think they just they pay the production company again. Right. Yeah, I don't get any of that. You don't? No. Fuck. Oh, also, that also, mouth. Do oh. that mouth to that camera. <laughs> <laughs> also, <laughs> there's your script. I, t- I wanted that for the. Fun- <coughs> also, I wanted it's on, like, it for the thumbnail. It's in Australia. It's in like India. It's in Mexico. It's in loads of countries around the world. It's been sold wide. Worldwide. Did you have to do the the? Uh... No, they dubbed me for, in other oh, ones. God, we That's need pretty to find fun. That. How can we? Find Although that? I, th- I found an Australian trailer for it, and they dubbed me with an Australian accent. That's the weirdest one oh, I've amazing. seen. We need to find that. How fucking hell, mate. Today I'm fucking on ninja. We need to get Fuck's a, not a swear. Fuck. We need to get on get a VPN or something and get get all the uh, different versions. The of Spanish it. ones are on YouTube. If you just put an E after the word art, the art <laughs> ninja, you'll get all the Spanish ones. And it actually makes it better because it is a sitcom, but when it's a Spanish sitcom, it's way funnier. <laughs> so yeah, I bet that's quite funny, isn't it? Uh, Mexico, I want to hear the Mexican one. Um you have your friends in it. Yeah. You already said your dad is in it. Yeah. We've also got Sarah, also known as Bernie. Right. Um, she's not called Bernie in the show, though. Shame. Uh, Rich, who's been my mate for years. He's also an artist. Gab's in it. Yeah. Uh, the annoying best friend. Who else have we had? We've had is Mikey. Gav like that in real life? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> did they try and... He's, yeah, he's that much. Nice. He seems... He's that much. Nice. That's did they, stupid in did real life. Did they try and shape all of your mates as well to be like... The CBBS uh, level, so being from here to like, hey guys, they yeah a little bit, but that's just in the script, and, and none of them are actors, so it's it's what? it was a little bit difficult to, for what? them to do it. And did they want you to talk like that because it's more appealing to kids watching it because you're at, like energetic and you? I, I think it's the psychology of it. Like if you if someone goes, do you want to come for a, do you want to come for a skate? You'd be like, mm, maybe not. But if you're like, hey, you want to come for a skate? 
You're yeah. like, yeah, all right, then that seems like no, a laugh. No, it wouldn't work on me. I'd no? No, you'd be a bit like, who the fuck's this? <laughs> I'd rather... I reckon I could wear you down. Oh, God. Yeah, probably. I'm very easy. I think I'd prefer just a mate going, skate. do you want to skate? I'd be like, yeah, I mean, I'll skate on. on my own. I don't really want to skate. Instead of being like, hey, guys. <laughs> well, well, it's the psychology of kids. It's slightly different. Yeah, you yeah. Know. Although it might not be. With it's got to be like kids. loud and boisterous and kind of out there, isn't it? Yeah. To like Did draw them in. That's why Toby's so drawn to it. When, it, when an advert's on, it's like, get your new vacuum cleaner. And he's like, oh. And then he walks off their new one and he's like, he just stares I'd, at the I'd, I'd, Can I ask what your targeted ads are? Did you get a vacuum cleaner targeted ads after you got your new vacuum cleaner? Um, and do they affect you? Do you see Yeah, it? I okay. did get a shark one that. come up on Instagram. Toby mm. is a sucker for adverts. Am I? Yeah. I love that he comes out with shit like this. Like, no. It's almost you, like you know you me. You literally got an advert for a vacuum cleaner and you had to buy one. You no, were... no, I bought one. No. And then I... Because they're, list- I remember they're sat in the right office now. and he was like, Look at this advert. And then two days later, he was like, I'm going to get a vacuum cleaner. It works, doesn't it? It does. Targeted ads do work on you. I got lots of um, shark vacuum Sharks. cleaner ads after I bought one, which is. It's only a small one, though, isn't it? Well, the one I've got? Yeah. Yeah, it's a cordless. Cordless one. Yeah, it collapses. It's very you good. It do you sing anything when you vacuum cleaner? Sing? Yeah. I don't sing. Sing the Art Ninja, in, uh, don't, art ninja theme tune. Can you sing the Art Ninja theme tune? I don't even know what it is. Have a go. <laughs> go on. Uh, have a go with the lyrics and like sing, sing a little. Tell him the ninja, lyrics. Ooh, no, no, go. Is there ninja. any lyrics? That's okay. it. Any more? No. It's just Art Ninja. Ooh, Art Ninja. No, it's you, it's you, isn't it, going? I'm Ricky. I'm that's an not, Art Ninja. But that's not, the, that's not the theme Can you do tune. the Brain Drain Show theme tune? No. Oh. But I just admitted that I couldn't do it. I didn't yeah. lie. And have a go. Art Ninja hasn't got a theme tune. No, it's not. There's no lyrics on the the, the theme tune. No. Yeah, it's just... It just goes dun, dun, dun. That's it. Can we play the theme tune right now? Oh, we're just hearing him talking. We don't need to physically (laughs) play. (laughs) He's going for it, though. Yeah, just because I I can only type so fast. We're going to overdub it. We're going to... So how do we, how can we go into Hang on, getting just, a TV show? What kind of shows do you want to do? What do you want to do? Because I'll do whatever you do. I just want to finish talking about, so you got your, you got your buddies in, in the, uh, the show. Yep. They all got paid, yeah? Yeah. Good. Although in one of the seasons, they had accidentally CC'd me on one of the emails to, to the contracts of them. And they were trying to pay one of them a little bit less. Cotton onto that, so like that immediately. Good. Also... She was the only girl, fr- which I think is sexist. And they were like, no, it's just a hang up from last year. I'm like, mm, is it like? That's good friendship, seeing it yeah. and being like, no, pay my friends exactly. adequately. Because you could have just been like, pay them a bit less and pay me. There you I'm go. Ricky. I live in Bristol. I draw. Mime it. I paint. <laughs> and I make things. Oh, it's the different series. What was the first one? I love it out with my mates. <laughs> I actually can't do this anymore. Ninja skin. Move. Ninja moves. Jesus. Oh yeah, I definitely can't. Before do that before the show started, did anyone actually call you the Art Ninja? No, okay, no one no. ever called me the Art Ninja. So that's I've been a lie. Many things. <laughs> um, <laughs> some people. Call, it's like when you try and give yourself a nickname, isn't it? Yeah. Like, some Don't people work. call me Mixmaster Rex. They're like, who? No one but me. <laughs> so it's, my partner tried to give herself the nickname Sketch when she was a kid. Did not catch on. She just because yeah. she saw. Um, Saved What's it called? Bell. Not Saved by the Bell. No, Sketch, not Screech. Oh, she shit. saw Sister Act 2 back, back in the habit, and there was a character in it that Sketch, and she thought, yeah, I'm going to be called Sketch. Told her mates that over the holidays she got the nickname Sketch, and everyone's just like, no, no, you didn't. No. You know Screech from Saved by the Bell went into porn. Yeah, yeah and then murdered somebody, and now he's in prison. What? I didn't now he's he dead. Mur- he murdered somebody. He's dead now. Screech is dead. He's dead, right? Screech is producer. It's Screech from Saved by the I, Dead. I would hate to look at the history on that computer because it's, it's like suspect fucked. jacuzzi video. Is Screech conspiracy theories? Yeah. The, do you remember when we said it on a couple of weeks ago and there was a picture of three cocks, a guy with two cocks? Oh, That's yeah. called Diphilia. Diphilia, yeah. he knows yeah. about that. He's got it. No, it's just a it's a genetic thing, isn't it? Imagine being born with two cocks. How do we get on to this? this shall, we, shall we skip it? Um, <coughs> I've got a couple yeah, more. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. There you go. How long? Two years ago. Oh, he died, died in prison. Uh, the bell got there too late. It doesn't say on Wikipedia. <laughs> it, was. It, it does say in... How did he die? 2006 Diamond directed his own celebrity sex tape, Screech, Saved by the Smell. 
Oh, oh my god. 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 Saved by the smell. I'm never gonna work on kids TV again. You could have come this, up with I? so many better ones like Saved by the Bell end. Let's get off Saved by the Bell end. Can I yeah uh, just a couple more things about just because I want to know how the, the process. How, how are you gonna let your son watch any of this? How long does it take to film an episode? He uh, died of lung cancer. Oh. Uh. Oh, oh, that's yeah. actually quite sad. Poor bug. Shame that you murdered someone, but you know you gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, how long does it take? How long does it take to make one episode of Art Ninja? How long did it take? Are you just talking about filming or from the start I'm to the very I'm end? Just, I'm just, yeah, I'm, in, I'm interested in the process. One episode complete. Oh, geez, I don't know. We, we'd be shoot. We would shoot for five to six weeks in the studio. Then we would have for one episode. No, for the whole series. Right, okay, so, so you get studio you stuff like, done first. Uh, no, we do the outside ones first, the big end makes first, and also we didn't make all of them. We were done. Um, oh so God. some of them were done when we got there, and we'd take it to pieces and they'd film at different stages to make it look like we made it because they need to shoot it in a day and it can take Stop ages to make it. Kind of like Neil Buchanan when he'd be like, "Here's one I made earlier." Yeah, exactly. Or like he'd draw on it and you could see where it had already been. The traced. pencil lines. See, now with HD, yeah. you couldn't have pencil pencil lines. So you have to you have to draw it perfectly every single time. Whereas. Yeah, you always used to see on these slight marks where he'd just be like, oh, mm -hmm. he's in a heavy metal band. Marseille. Neil Buchanan. Mm. Incredible. Is he still alive? Yep. I'd love to meet him. He was Can we get him? Do you know him? No. He no. was fucking rad, was it? He's he got to be like, he's got to be like seven. Banksy a couple of years ago. Though. Is he? Oh, that's quite funny. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I heard that. He yeah. was being what? Banksy. Accused of being Banksy. Oh, amazing. It's definitely not him. Is he you? No. Are you Banksy? Yeah. I, I think if it was. <laughs> I've got think Banksy's Neil... on it. I think Banksy's probably about. 15, 20 years older than me, though. Yeah, he's quite yeah. old, isn't he? Neil Buchanan's got to be like or her. 70. Or her. He's born in 1967. All right. Oh, okay. Um, so you do the big I love this, by the way. It's good. Imagine it? this in the pub. Just having like a yeah. conversation that sounds like, mm, actually, and if you jumped out of a plane and shot a bullet downwards, you would catch up with it eventually. And you'd be like, oh, sick, thanks. And just carry on chatting. <laughs> would you catch up with it eventually oh, if you shot a go. bullet out of a plane? Now. <laughs> How do I Google that? If you shoot a bullet whilst jumping out of a plane, would you catch up to it eventually? I think a human has a higher terminal velocity after the actual explosion of the bullet, doesn't it? So was that what, 114 feet yeah, per second? You, so you mm. would catch up with it. The bullet would slow down yeah. and then you'd speed up. And then you could eat it. And then you'd, it'd be hot, wouldn't it? Uh, it's falling out of a plane, it might cool down by then. Yeah. You could be like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you can free fall yeah. and connect your tongue with a bullet, yeah. I'll give you... Five pounds. Five, <laughs> worth it. You've got PayPal. Oh, Let's do it. Fucking hell. Um, right, that was a bit of a tangent. So you're telling me that you didn't do all of the art makes? No, no of course not. So you're telling me some other ninjas came in? And they're called the ninjats. There's, there was uh, two to three of them per series. And they come in, sort that shit out. But do you, you, do you come up with a concept for each episode? What? Like, some of them. It's a collaboration. There's right. a group of people. So how many people worked on each episode? Wow, I mean, you could just check the credits. It's probably about I can't 30. do that. I don't have the, the concentration. Like, to crew on site is like two cameramen, a sound guy, director, producer, me, uh, two or three art people. Sometimes are, um, there's probably about 10 to 12 people in the room when we're shooting stuff. Right. If it's skeleton, if about other people are doing stuff, they'd be and like And that's in, what, in one Airbnb. So no yeah, that's why it's, it's so hot. hot and, yeah. you, and every time you have to do anything, you have to move like the sofas around, move that around so you get the cameras there. And then you have to move that round to the kitchen. So Do the people that you're renting it from know that, that you're using yeah, it for that Yeah, purpose. and they made us lay a lino down on the floor so we didn't scratch the floor. We still scratched the floor. And remove things from the walls and make it all safe. One of the, yeah, there's a big, like, there's a big, there's a big, like, uh, bookshelf that's in the middle of it that separates the living room from the yeah. make table. And one of our ninjas, uh, Katie, uh, knocked it over when we were moving stuff. And I mean, the whole thing just went, Bang to the floor, like ruined everything. Like only held us back like twenty twenty minutes. Yeah, but she, I don't think she ever lived it down. Yeah. Everyone would, everyone called, everyone just called her Katie Smash for like she was the Hulk. Okay. Well, she's she's, she's tiny, but she knocked it over. Yeah, and as soon as she did it, she went into the other room to start fixing things like that. And the um, director Jeff just walked around the corner and was like, Katie, um, I know. I know you're really stressed out about what just happened, but just wondering if it's too early to take the piss out of you for it. <laughs> <laughs> Katie Smash. Um, that's interesting. And then as far as the editing process, were you involved in any of that? Only the animations. Right. The rest of the stuff was done in London. I just go down and do, lay down the voice track, you know. And then, so let's say they edited something. 
and you weren't happy with it, could you have said, I'm not happy with that? And uh, that would have made no difference. Right, no. okay. You didn't um, have any creative freedom once it had been... No, filmed. no, not really. And also, like, director Jeff, brilliant, right? He's fantastic. He's done so many cool things. He's really nice and fun. And he was, he was, was, he'd think, like, we're going to shoot this bit like this. So if you've seen this film, these are the references. It's going to be like this. Let's do all these bits. No matter how much work uh, Jeff would put into the crew of getting those bits to look a certain way, they wouldn't be edited like that when yeah, it yeah. the scene. Yeah, yeah. When it came I guess out. as soon as you have more creative people putting their touch on things, it's going to change in it. It's time most of the time. Yeah, they just need to not, get... it needs to be edited and yeah. put out, and that's that. Yeah, we know that side, don't we? No, you don't. You don't at all, do you? No, mm. no, we don't. Who does it? Are you? He? Um, so now that's finished, are you planning to go into anything similar, or are you looking to go into? hosting another TV thing or do you still work in TV but behind the scenes? Well, I've never chased it. I've not, I've never gone. Yeah, like you said, it kind of just, just happens. Have so. you got an agent? No, no one. Did you ever? No one will ever have me. Why? Right. I'll every, have you as an agent. Every totally year. Good at that. Well, you, do you want to be my agent? Yeah. Happily. I'll take 15%. Of, of, of nothing is still, you know, nothing. 15% of something. Mm. Yeah. One day. There, so I, every year I would try and get an agent during the show so I could do more stuff. This yep. is only when I was doing it because I was like, if I'm doing it and it takes it takes like half a year to do a show, it means the other half of the year it's very hard to get a solid employment because you've been buggering off the whole time to go and like dick around in a studio and make like bits yeah. of paper mache. Every time I did it, I got rejections. And the last year, I was like, I'm going to go full push on this. I'm going to make separate show reels that sum up the the different kind of TV shows that I've done and whatever. And send it out to all these people. I sent it to 31 agents and I got 32 rejections because <clears throat> one of them forwarded it onto his mate because he saw the Dina in one of the pieces and was like, oh, I used to skate, blah, blah. And then he looked at it and went, oh, I used to skate the Dina. Cool, yeah, we can't represent you either. So no you, But you didn't send it to... Didn't send it to you guys. Agency. We should send it to... Do you have an agent? You know how Ashley Mercer was talking about? Yeah, yeah, I think. <laughs> The agency that he's so, with, Ashley Mercer. Yeah, you should speak to those guys. Yeah, you know Ashley Mercer, the UK's worst skate park guy, very popular on TikTok. Yeah, we had him on. Uh, we, we're we're we've just his they're episode doing, doing comes out today. Him. His episode comes out, or well, not today not. when you're watching this. It's it's already out. Yeah, but he. Um, it's a good idea for that because there's so much of that content in he's the got UK. Like, he's got like a good little agency thing going on. Maybe you should talk to him. Or you're not bothered about it anymore. Right? I'm already bothered. Yeah. What are you doing at the moment? Ricky, what's like, wrong? We I can did get a show you back on the telly. Called Britain's My... Best Young Artist, which was basically <clears throat> Bake Off with art for kids. And they were oh, competing. That sounds good. Yeah, get your get your son onto it. It's actually pretty good. You'll follow the kids and hope that they get through to the next round. And did you we, uh, that was your thing? You presented that. I was a judge. So me and my mate Sadie were judges. And then uh, Did you ever sit there on any of it and just go, utterly shit. <laughs> get the fuck off my show. <laughs> Uh, I, I think that there's merit in all kinds of art. Yeah, There's right. a few bits on there where I was I, like... I don't believe you. Mm. How am I, I going to say how some positive things about this? How can you shit on a plate? Well, no, it's, it's like you want to give positive yeah. feedback because you want to encourage them to get better. Because, I mean, if you like skateboarding, we all if you can't stand being shit, you're never going to be able to be good. You know what I mean? Mm. So you've always got to give positive reinforcement and say, and also with... Art and skateboarding. As long as you're enjoying yourself, you're winning. You're not actually doing it wrong. Yeah. You know what I mean, 100%. it's only only the cool kids that decide whether or not you were good or not. The and gate, the gatekeepers. Really yeah, you shouldn't really care what they think anyway. Yeah. Mm. If I did, I would have stopped skateboarding years ago. Um, but you you were on uh, Justin's house, weren't you? Recently, Recently yeah. yeah. I saw that pop up on the that Instagram. That was weird. You were on there as an artist. Yeah, typecast. Yeah. Yet again, I played Brighton Brushley. The most famed artist in all of Justin Town. Nice. Um, Check it out look... on the iPlayer. Yeah, I saw it. <laughs> Do you ever look at it. any of these titles they give you and you're just like, what the fuck? I just think about that now. Like, I've had, what is it? Well, I've only really had two titles, Art Ninja or Brighton Brushley, the most famed artist in all of Justin Town. <laughs> I wish they said it every time. It would have made it way more funny. It would have got cut out there. What's, Brighton what's Justin like? I've heard he's a nice guy. Yeah, he's just nice. Like, yeah. He seems just nice. He's done all right, hasn't he? Yeah. Can you not get in with him and do something? Uh, get another kind of artist. It's not. I mean, I want to do some weirder stuff, really. Like, make, well, I've been making my yeah, Grindhouse. Obviously, because I want to make a Grindhouse film. But yep. I've also I've started a little project that I haven't had a chance to do because I've been busy with other work. But I I want to troll brands with commercials they haven't asked for. So amazing. I saw this. You did one for Heinz baked beans. I did one for Heinz yeah, baked beans. Yeah, we need to put this on when we're on the edit. Yeah, that's amazing. Um, I made all the little sets and just. <laughs> Did all that stuff. It was. I had so much fun. I spent the entire yeah. time laughing. Also made 
a trailer for a show that will never exist, which is Space Guys. I saw um, that too. I've got Space Guys too, but I haven't quite it's finished it like yet. It's almost like a bit stalking you or something. I mean, you've done your research I've though, haven't you, research, yeah. yeah, it's good. Um, yeah, keep doing that. Yeah, it's one of the more stupid commercials. Yeah. Mm. Not because it's going to get me anywhere, just because it's fun. You know, it's like funny, it's art stuff. It? You like... want to do one for them, one for you. Otherwise, you go mad. Like two kinds of starving yeah. artists: yeah, one yeah. that can eat but can't make any of their own work, one that only makes their own work but can't eat. So I, you yeah. have to juggle it all the time. That's deep. Yeah, that's deep. So deep. Did they make you shave the mustache for the show, or did you just not have one at the time? I didn't have one at the time. And do you actually wear glasses normally, or you got contacts in? Contacts. No, don't to poke your eyeballs. He hates Actually, it. I'm having a mare with us at the moment. I haven't had a new set of contact lenses for like six weeks. I've been on the phone to like spec savers every other day trying to sort it out. Well, it's not getting any more. I know how you can speed up that process. You phone up and go, I am the art ninja. I'm going to try it. I think you should. I'll record have it. You ever used it, it, it works. Have Brighton you ever... Brush. Get me, get <laughs> me bricks. <laughs> give me some Boss. contacts. I forgot what it was already. I'm sorry. Contact contact give, me some, give me some fucking contact lenses now. Yeah. Have, have you ever used the position of Art Ninja to get something in there. Heavens. Fuck no. Never <laughs> at all. Don't you know who I am? And they'll go, no. no. <laughs> you ever thought about making merch? Uh, we, well, uh, I, I oh, had... you could make... No, I'm not going to say there, it. There is merch in my bag. Yeah, can we have a look at... So I'm in my contract, I says that I get 15 or 20% of all merch sales, but there was never any merch made. There, there, there was one... There was a time we made toys and we took them to see if we get interested and nothing happened. But the production company never really chased it because they're trying to do their other shows. Yeah, mm. yeah. And also they just didn't care. But we did make one magazine, one episode of one magazine. And I have, I had a few, I had a few versions of this. Oh, the tape's a little bit torn on the front. Can you, I, I know it's a podcast, so I have to make noise. There you go, that's the tape. Yeah, but it's, we've it's also a video got video. So it goes out on video show, as well. You can show so. it to the... Um... Well, it came with a Sharpie pen. Yeah, there he is. What's it sound about? Make color. Uh, it says make color draw. Not in that order. I'd say draw. Can I have a look at this? Color, make. So this is actually. It's also it's got um, it's got it's got Kane on the Harry Kane on the front of it as so well. It's a full magazine that was going to go into production. Why did no, it? It was in production. It was it was in it was in all like it was all good magazine stores, and uh, it went. I'm sorry, one episode. this is just like. Do it's, you love it? It's a completely Let's different person. Do you want a calendar of just pictures? Because like when that? I watched the show, I was like, yeah, I don't recognize. Do I was like, I, I don't recognize this guy. And then Toby gave me your Instagram ages ago, and I was like, it's not even the same person. No, it's yeah, not that's the same because person. It's a character, isn't it? It's called acting, babes. That's a creepy ass character. He's a nice guy. I feel like that's someone that kill you. I've seen cereal. Yeah, come here and let me paint you, and then. Great teeth, though. Me. Look at those. Wow. Was they paid for by CBBC? No, they're just Matif. Let's have a look. Oh, you, you got the board. Is this the board you was on about as well? Is it? The Fart Ninja board. Right, your, so... Your pro board. She said you had a pro board, So right? that board was Series 1 board. Yeah. But then after that, I got like... Um, I got the graphic and just did a full... So full bleed one on the board. It looks yeah. so much better. And I got three of them made. I used one for the series. And then I gave the other two away over the course of a few years. And prizes. What were we supposed to do with this? We could make an uh, it's an epic dinosaur set. This is this is for your boy. This is you can have this. Oh, is this one he's gonna? Yeah. Have? Oh, thank you. That's Don't give right. it to him. No, he'll, he'll love it. He'll no, keep it stored away. Yeah. Oh no, I'm not, he's not. I'm not gonna let. Him. Don't let him fucking open it. I'm not gonna. Don't let him get, open that. Get his little I wonder mixer. if I wonder can if there's any available on eBay. Can you sign it? For yeah, him? I'll sign it. Yeah, that. And buy for him. I'm. Can you can you write on it T Rex from Ricky Art Ninja? But it's funny that it's called Rex. But can you spell Rex like Toby? What? what? Two T O T O B. Two Toby from. Or Art even better, can you do it to my mum? Is Did... that your own branded Sharpie as well? Is it? Yeah, it's not a Sharpie. It's got your. Is it got Art Ninja? Whoa, it's I did not know that was right, a thing. It's too late, it's mine. You're not, not having it back. Uh, Ninja. <coughs> Amazing. Magazine. This so, is. Oh, I like that you've got a little. Uh, you got the little karate vibe going on the, in the top corner there. Yes. You need to um, oh, look at Gujitsu toys because... Spooky vampire's cool. I might have to rip that off and put it on a bag of t-shirt. Yeah, that's good. Um, Teaches you how to draw a vampire, though. I bet you didn't know how to do that before. No, I actually didn't, and I'm probably going to use this. Could you, while you're here, if we give you a bit of A4 paper and a sharpie pen, could you draw a brain drain somewhere, rather? Yeah. It's mental so I wonder if I've got my it, book in here, actually. It's crazy oh, yeah. to think it's, who this is yeah, aimed at, but this has actually just taught me how to do a, vam, uh, a vampire. So it's, it's Every day is a school from, day. From 10 to 32 <laughs> to 42-year-olds. I'm 44, actually. So. Well, you've just got the mental 
age of the target audience. That's right. Um, you that's do look made Fraser's up. Is never going to be on camera. Now, yeah, what, what, it to Toby. what happened with this magazine? It went into production. It went was for in one. All... There was no press for it whatsoever. So it just flopped. Yeah, just made one. So they didn't make any money, so you didn't get any 15 I or 20% cut on it. No. Oh, that's a real shame. Sorry about that. I'm, I re I'm really trying to buy a house as well. So if anybody can work out how we can um, get some you know, some passive income streams through merch. The thing is, if I were... It's old, though. Like It's been out for so long that... Well, so what year was this? Uh, it might say it on the barcode. No. If that came out... 2019. 2019. If this came out when I was a kid, I guarantee you, every month these came out, I would have just ripped that off the front page and robbed it. You know, like you used to take CDs out of Kerrang. You like always rob things. Out I didn't you. do that for. Did you not? Oh, no. oh, <laughs> you, you I was a good boy. You must not have grown up council estate because that's what we all. Had I grew to up. Be. Yeah, I grew up in Harlow. It's, that is pretty one of the roughest. It's pretty places. rough, isn't it, Harlow? Yeah, I remember when I was there. Gentrified I was, now. When I was going to university, I was in I was in Motel Six, and Henry was going, "Oh, like, do you know what? You're going to go to Bristol and never come back. You know, it's just the way things are." I was like, no, I ain't. I love Harlow. I'm definitely going to come back. Went to Harlow Bristol and was life. like, "Fuck Harlow. I'm going <laughs> to stay in Bristol." Harlow for life. <laughs> Right, let's have a look at the questions then, where have we got through to? So, um, Well, you just hear you saying, who do you skate with and how's the Bristol scene, yeah. good folks? I've who, got a pretty solid crew, I would say. Habgood was saying it was kind of like an old uh, bunch of skaters that you got a group chat or something. Is he talking about us, the older bunch of skaters? He yeah. probably is. We yeah, probably maybe. are. Do you know, do you know Adam Connett? Uh, no. Uh, he's called, uh, his Instagram's Vegan Bones and he does a clothing brand called I Should Not Be Here. He's yeah. Bristol. Bristol's quite a big Relate. skate scene. And I always so it's forget how very big. Very clicky in There's its lots little... lots different groups. Yeah. I always yeah. forget how big it is. When I went to stay with Dane, we went to Bristol. I'd only been to Dean Lane and the DIY that's down the narrow street where you... Dave's side. Yeah. Yeah. I'd only been to those. So I had this image that Bristol was quite small. And then we spent two days driving around Bristol. There's loads and of seen all these spots. And I was like, I don't even see these spots on anyone, anyone's feed that live in Bristol anymore. No, because... <sighs> You go to them, and I, I guess, well, we don't really go to them. We go to the Dean or Dave side, but tricks have been done there. And if you can't better the thing that was done last time, then People no one does. Bother. Also, no one, locals don't seem to skate their sort of like their street spots. Locals don't seem to skate their actual local spots anymore. Mm. Yeah, I mean, we'd rather go somewhere else, right? Yeah. You know what I mean? Something new or something we haven't been to before, but we mainly skate the Dean or Dave side. Yeah. But yeah, the crew, crew is strong. We're called crap times because we normally have a crap, crap times. Time. Yeah. Um, and we're all aged between like 26 and 41, 42, I guess. Who's in the crew? Uh, the, I just, just read out all their names. Yeah, sure. yeah. Give them a shout out. Mm. Yeah, give all the uh, Ricky Art Ninjas going to give you a shout out right now. <laughs> what do they, what do all the skaters think about Art Ninja past? Well, I don't, I don't really talk about it. No, but, um, should do. One of them that I met, I didn't tell him about it. And then he noticed it when he was with his nephew watching it. And was like, what? <laughs> Why is but that's a bit trippy. That's weird, yeah. So is that like a weekly crew you go out skating with? Yeah, like every Monday or Wednesday and sometimes on the weekend, also on the weekend, we'll go out for a skate. It's it's more like my drinking team has a skateboard problem now than it is a group of skateboarders. Right. Mm -hmm. The after work scene. So I've heard that you need four beers to warm up. Who told you this? This is true. <laughs> he, I, it's he two. He it's does two beers. emails, calls, faxes. And I heard it's four. Also, um, who's Bricky? <laughs> oh, that's from Zoe. That is Bricky is a booze-induced alternate personality, right? Um, who doesn't like me, Ricky, right. very much. So would this is like when I was much younger. Would used to leave traps for me in the night when I've gone to bed, or put a pint of water next to the bed that says "Drink this, you'll need it." And I start like in the morning drinking it. It'll be gin. So that's how bad Bricky is. Whoa. But he hasn't come out in many, many years. Right. Kept him. Okay. okay. Yeah. Booze um, induced schizophrenia is what I'd refer to it as. Uh, He's really lovely to everybody else. Just ha just leaves traps for me. I've got a bunch of questions that Rex has written for you. you okay. Just yeah. Yeah. True. Quick fire. So just can we do a little? Can we do an animation here? Rex is question time. Like, put your hand up. Like. Just to confirm. H how old's your lad? He's. Uh, seven, he's going to be eight in November. Literally the perfect age yeah. for Art Ninja. So yeah. it's, uh, I'll give you, uh, he did write more, but I, I edited this. Do you have a pet? I do. I have a cat called Creepy. I used to have a cat called Mango. And, yep, yeah, okay, there you go. Rest um, in peace to the fallen soldiers. What's your favourite film? Uh, Groundhog Day. Um, did you ever not live in Bristol? We kind of covered that. Yeah, I lived yeah. in Essex. Right. 
Harlow. Why why do you why do you say Essex? Why don't why don't you say Harlow? Are you ashamed of it? Uh, no one really knows where it is. It's just easier to say. People Essex. know where Harlow is. Okay, I'll, I'm from Harlow. Did you Harlow. ever skate the wa- water gardens at Harlow? Yeah, it used to be sick there, wasn't it? Yeah, water gardens is good. I liked it when they rebuilt and they had that double set, the four and yeah. the three. That was pretty good. Last time I went there, random story. I went there with Dan Leach. Do you remember Dan Leach? He used to ride for Icon Skate. Yeah, there's no other name. And we were, we were just went to. Um, it was when he was so skinny he had no money, and we we went to get a drink and somebody had dropped a big thing of rolling tobacco and I, 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 you know, I don't smoke I was like damn it he was so stoked I gave him out. he was like oh, fucking yes it was, like, <laughs> no, it was like his best day ever um, sorry okay um, what piece of art are you most proud of from the show oh man I can tell you my least favourite is the foil owl like it was so bad that the foil owl on, it was a Halloween party the day after we did it mm. and I hated it so much that two of the ninjets came to the Halloween party dressed as foil owls <laughs> <laughs> what was so bad about it? What, what oh, it's like right, you had to get a bit of carb, and we had the. It was one of the ones. What on episode the screen. was this? So I can put it on the uh, screen and talk about it. Series two, I think. Series two. We'll, we'll it was, find it's day of the something. They're all day of something. But day like, of the owl. Uh, I, I might be day of. The, <coughs> might be day of the egg. No, it's not day of the egg. That's series four. But we had to have a bit of cardboard. Kids on the screen. These two Irish kids, really lovely. The start of the call with so much enthusiasm. They are stoked as hell to be on Art Ninja, be involved in this. Mm-hmm. So we start, we draw an owl. Then we get string, cut it into pieces and glue it along the lines. Yeah, just like the tattoo one. A bit like the tattoo one. Yeah, yeah. yeah we tend to reuse stuff. <laughs> then you put glue over it. Then you put foil on the glue. Yeah. Then you put boot polish on. And then you go around the foil and get all the lines in. Yeah. And then you put boot polish on it and then you clean it off. Right, that sounds like a quick thing. No, it's like three hours. And the kids, to well, they're, on there, like this, they're on there for three hours. And by the end, <laughs> they were like this. They were like, and what do you think of it? They're like, I'll give it a 10. They just want to go out and play. It, they, they started doing it at half three. It's now half six. Like dinner is like, yeah, they've had to yeah. run out of glasses of water, loads of toilet breaks. They were bored as hell. And I was just felt so sorry for them. I just, you always got to chat with them and keep things going. But by the end, you're just past the yeah, yeah. really elevated personality to like, yeah. oh, so what are you guys doing? Are you doing anything else? You've got any like clubs you're doing? No. Oh, you've missed them. Oh, okay then. <laughs> oh, it was awful. Do you, um, did any of the kids give you less than a 10? Um, no, no, but that's written in. They have to say I, th- I think one did a, one said one, and then they rolled it out, and they had two zeros, so it was 100. Oh, so that's, good. that's pretty oh, crazy. That's, yeah. that. that's a bit of extra flow. So if they, get, they always had to say 10? So yeah, or they were... Do you know what? My, it wasn't actually... Imagine if they didn't, and on the show, you're just like, you're done. <laughs> <laughs> Blip. <laughs> Guess face, what? FaceTime. <laughs> Disconnect. There, there, there was two that I did really like. They were both animations, though. One was the human skateboard, and the other one was a giant um, sort of dragon spray paint animation we did. Right. Mm-hmm. Those were my two favourite ones. Great. What, what season and episodes were they? Just that so we can put it Season three. I could, I could find them for you. All right, let's know. Um, cool, that's a good one. Uh, another one from Rex. Is your dad in the show, your actual dad? My yes. dad is in the show. Yeah, but the... Terrence Martin. Terrence Martin. Yeah. And then last one from Rex. Can you swim? Yeah. Good. And okay. I love I love outdoor swimming. I like I like going in the sea or rivers. I like wild swimming. Yeah, it's well. way wild better. Swimming. I want to feel that cold water. Okay, right. Now I went, um, a little story about wild swimming. Uh, me and one of my mates went wild swimming in Sheffield. This isn't going to be a good story, <laughs> this, is it? <laughs> <laughs> and this, this fella turned up and he was just like stood there watching, and we were like, "You're right, mate." And he was just like, "Yeah, I was just taking pictures of the open swimming areas. We we're in a group called like." open swim something it, it like abbreviated into a word and he like walked off and he turned around and he he looked at miles and he went get yourself on fabswingers.com lads get some rate shagging done and then just walked off and me and miles were just in pants just in the water as this guy <laughs> took pictures of the lake with us in it <laughs> fabswingers.com fabswingers.com you can you google, google did fab- you mishear him did he say swingers or swimmers no he's, he's, he takes pictures of he's in a fab he's in a swingers <laughs> club and an open water if you look up like sheffield open water swimmers club it's legit but then he just went get yourself on fabswingers.com that's lads. a cover isn't get it get some rate shagging done and Miles tells that story so far. And how long have you been a member now? Um, four years. Four, he said five, it was such a straight face. Four, I five genuinely years. believe four, in no, you. No, four or five years. Four we checked years. it out. Yeah, it's a website. He found it. I found the website, yeah. Fabswingers.com, lads. How much That's, is it? It's a very basic website. That's the quote. Well, Fabswingers.com, lads. Get some rate out, shagging done. Like the search Get some yeah. rate shagging done. Man, woman, couple, male. All of it. All of it. 
just oh, said, oh, is there an all? Just, and yeah. then, He's clicking all the buttons. <laughs> and then do it for like, D, do it for our postcode, DE214, I said, see what comes up. I bet there's about one in the car park out here or something. No, because we've obviously got the, we've got some kind of peaky areas not far from us, the Derbyshire countryside, and that leads on to kind of similar to the Sheffield Peaks, National Peak District. Yeah. So there's got to be some rate shagging to be done. Anyway, um, is it true? Oh, you need, a, you need to sign up for an account. It's um, all right. I'll, we'll do that I'll in a bit. Not I'll send, send me, you my login. Can you send me the link? Um, is it true that you were once so baked that you rode your bike into a car? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Apparently so. Um, what are you doing that for? Um, do you consider yourself a rigid skateboarder? Rigid? Yeah. These are yeah. fun questions. Yeah, I, I'm stiff as hell when I skate. Is that, wait, is this a thing? Like, a, I don't know. Is this something to do with this group? That I I'm don't not... know. <laughs> no, these this, are Yeah, just, I just, I used to be like, well, I never used to, I just, yeah, I don't spin very well. Yeah. You don't spin very oh, well. The, okay. These are just, um, these are things. That these are, are just fun questions that your adoring fans have sent into us. Uh, have you ever tried to nolly a football? You spoke to Laurie. Have you ever tried to... <laughs> <laughs> have... I tried to I tried to nolly and kick a. You know when you nolly, you do like a front foot off, like like a nolly, but then a. If you go, it's like I guess it would be like a nolly front foot. Yeah, it was one foot. foot yeah. yeah, but nolly, but they kick out. You should be able to do it and kick footballs. And a ball was coming along. I went to do it, just nollied and just perfectly nollied onto it. Balance for one second and then just hit the, my face. No hands down at all. Just oh, bare to the floor. Damn. Gnarly. And uh, onto a dog, I bet. What's the longest amount of tries it's taken you to do a nose plant slide? Is it in a region of 238? <laughs> <laughs> I actually think it's a, it's either 196 or 236. Eight. So no, 38 is actually 238. 238. Did, you, did you watch the edit? No, somebody had to film that every single attempt. That's Laurie. He yeah. had to film it. And uh, Although I film Laurie way more than he films me. What was your nose blunt sliding for it to take 238 attempts? It was you got a good one as well. That line yeah, you do, like, it, Dave, is really it Dave's like, side, isn't it? You, you're doing proper. They're it's, really powerful and locked in there. Well, I've only got, well, I can only put weight on my my right leg. My left leg's completely shot at the moment. I've been going to see an osteopath to try and fix it. But well, this place in Filton, really, really hot. You wax up the block and it's just going off to drop. And the floor is just polished concrete. But in the sun, it's just... It's like a, it's like an ice rink. Mm, Every, yeah. Everywhere I landed, would just slip out every single mm. way. So I, I went back though. Did you do it? Yeah, I went All back right, and did okay. it in the end. We'll put the footage in. It's, it's cut to the, yeah, it's, it's, it's cut to the Jeopardy uh, music. Nice, nice. Two hundred thirty-eight mm. attempts. That's a lot. Well, well done a, for doing it. It's a land ratio of zero point zero one six. I think that's pretty good. That's more than mine. It only out. takes one. It does. <laughs> You're right. Um, and then last one I've got. What is a thirsty mum? This is down to people sliding into your DMs on Instagram, this is. Right, okay. So sometimes you just get messages out of the blue from I need more people. DM messages that you've received. And I just show them to, to my partner and be like, look at this one. She's like, wow, that was not bad. Or she'd be like, shut that down immediately. Yeah. <laughs> but what is a thirsty mum? Um, is that some? Is that one in no, particular? Like my that son like, likes yeah. Art Ninja. I mean, I probably don't even get that many compared yeah. to what some people do. I just think it's fun. He gets loads. He gets loads. You get, you get loads. I mean, punch them off. Isn't Toby gets thousands. I mean, what's Bagger corrupt? Every, you know? every time we put How out... How many followers you got on Bagger? Just got 23,000. Yeah, so he gets it all. Well, no, but, who, come through but who's going to reply to random people skate clips when you've got handsome, moustache, nose blunt, 238 attempt sliding man over here with a little bit more muscle? Going to change my... That's going to be my news for With a TV it. show... <laughs> <laughs> um, Ricky, before we wrap up the episode, can we ask you to do a brain drain sketch of some sort on some paper? Which Yeah, sure. Do, producer, can you grab a Sharpie pen and you some know, paper, please? Me and my friend Rich have been doing this thing, also like Lars and Borthwick as well, doing this thing where I've normally got a little sketchbook with me. I might have one at the moment. I think I'm on like the 10th or the 11th sketchbook over the years. Yeah. We have a game called Drawing Club. It's really simple. You've got two minutes to draw somebody around the table. Normally do it in a pub after a shoot or just with friends and it's a, like a really good leveler so everyone's suddenly mm. in the room and interacting you get to know people really well um two minutes to draw somebody the other person can't move some of the stuff people draw is hilarious yeah is in the people that say they can't draw are the best drawers like they look into that person's soul and yeah with like five lines mm. do something better than someone could do in 25 minutes mm. it's really funny i don't actually know i've got it with me have you ever um when you were doing art ninja did you ever just draw a massive dick on something Oh, Toby's good at. I'm really art. good at doing quick 
Like, I, don't even have a, I don't even have a sketchbook. We, we call them quick dicks. Toby's quick dicks. Yeah, almost, like trick, almost like trick tips. And he's going to say that's Willies, the first though, I've heard Just, of it. Yeah. We used to do it at school because we used to have Because we're kids and that's what textbooks you do at school. And as soon as one of your mates would get like a new sheet of paper or textbook, you just grab it and draw dicks on every single page. So I, I learned how to draw dicks really quickly. He can. Should we, should we have a dick off in a bit? Yeah, yeah. sure. Just see who can draw and, and yeah, that does, that would happen on, it's like when we went to, we went to Arben years ago, if you're going through the, the back sort of, round the back of all the sets, all the, all the riggers and everybody, so many pens and a, a nice little bum. bit of lip balm Vaseline. Why are, you giving him my, why are you giving him my lip balm? Oh, hey. Gives a bit of SPF that, 15. I'll have a little bit of that. That's gone. Vaseline's not that good. I'm, I'm on the, uh, the uh, Burt's Bees. This is, Burt's Bees is the best lip balm, way better than Vaseline. Well, so, because I, I know, um, I know all the Harlow lot, like Nicholson and those guys. I I've, bloody love Mark. I've known Nicholson for probably 30 odd years, maybe more. We used to skate at that indoor park at Wolf and Cross. Did you ever see the clip of him on um, London Tonight? I did, yeah, yeah. Is that the one you were talking about where it's skidding the rim? No, he's got a budgie on it. Have, have you seen the um, the video skidding the rim? Yeah. 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 Do you know I who filmed did the, some stuff for that. Do you know who did the um, design for the cover for you? skidding the rim? It was me. It's all falling into place now. Yeah, I filmed a bunch of stuff with that. That was around the time when I was more uh, prominent within filming. But I, I tend to... I've made you look very handsome here. Yeah. Yeah, a bit of what do you mean, made there. me? Look, yeah. I'm just kidding. The thing is, I've, I think now you enjoy filming now, more now you've got that camera. I enjoy like you filming. You actually want to film. I enjoy filming when it's on my terms. Yeah. So just keep. Yeah, it. so I do. Don't really do much <laughs> apart from filming and editing anyway. But yeah, I was trained in media production. Like oh. I went to uni, did that. Guys. Can you write brain drain on it somewhere, please? That looks great. For Where should I write it? I'll just. I know. Just put it on there somewhere. Brain drain show and then sign it, Ricky Art Ninja. Not don't sign it your real name. Brain drain one word. Uh, no, no, we, it doesn't matter. No. The brain drain show. Just put. How do you spell drain? Is it D R A I N? Ricky on the slow speed. We're all old and can't spell a thing. Oh, my spelling's terrible now. Anyway, the brain drain show. Look at that. With Ford and Toby. <laughs> no, just don't. <laughs> don't do that. The Brain Drain Show is brought to you by Ford and Toby. Oh, that's really cool. Thank you very Artwork much. Artwork by Art Ninja. We'll do stickers of that. You reckon? Yeah, we'll. Stick on a t-shirt. Look at that. Art Ninja. Wow. Oh, I have to do this then, for fuck's sake. Hang on. Oh, you're doing the actual oh, doing, doing, doing the ninja. ninja. <laughs> Look at that. That is unreal. Right, we need a. Oh, um, what size is that paper? A three. Can you order an A three frame, please, producer? That's amazing. Thank you. Yes. Look at that. Look at that. Can you get that? Oh wow. You guys look gorgeous. You made Toby look like oh, a hot that? anime character. He does, doesn't he? Can we get one of Ricky holding it as well. Yeah. Can you can you hold it up over there? I'm actually quite pleased with that. That's good. You can't have it by yourself. No, yeah, now. you're not having it. <clears throat> I mean, you can have it. Yeah. There you go. Beautiful. Cheesy grin. Um, that's that there. That's your that's your thumbnail. Yeah, that's good. Um, just to finish off the episode, every episode of uh, Art Ninja, it was day of the something or other. Mm -hmm. What is today the day of? Day of the brain drain. There you go. Can you say it into camera, please, in Art Ninja style? Oh, do I have to do like the voice yep. they do? Four Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah On do, that note, today yeah. is. Oh, you mean it's day? day? Yeah. yeah. We'll start those, rolling yeah. the credits. So we need you to say. Thanks for listening. I've been Art Ninja. This has been the Brain no, Drain been Show. Ricky Martin, Roll the credits. Art Ninja. And then to but he wants it in the Art Ninja. I voice. want it. No. Can so you, don't no. forget to like and subscribe. Just, yeah, don't right. forget to like, share and subscribe. Do you want me to do a few bits of it? Can you do Today is the Day of the Brain Drain in that way? How about... Um, My name's Ricky. I live in Bristol. But today, I'm on the Brain Drain Show. Because today, it's the Day of the Brain Drain. Perfect. There we go. Okay. You're going to call it there. <laughs> right, roll the credits. Let's go. Thank yeah. you very much. Oh, that's amazing. Thank you. <laughs>